you saying you back here yeah? you ever heard of this website called the black calendar that's the name of the website black calendar ever heard that before like, probably not until now because i didn't until a couple of days ago and it, website's kind of mad still it's not mad in terms of the content but it's mad in terms of why people are on this website but before i get into that in it, let me let me get into this in it. imagine they're yeah, like car might be watching a few youtube videos in it and it's all about it's gangs and whatever whatever in it imagine murdering someone and then having to go on the run. Like we've heard it all the time, innit? Yeah, man murder, man and that, innit? But like, imagine, cause when I watch things, me and my man, I put myself in that position. And some of these guys have killed people and that, and they've gone on the run. And you know, if you've killed someone and you know the police are actively looking for you, like you're on the hit list, hit, yeah, you're London's most wanted or whatever, innit? Yeah, you know, yeah, when you get catch, you're looking at a 20 or a 30. So what such a man do, and a lot of people get caught this way or whatever. Isn't it? The people them that uh, don't think that they're going to get caught straight away or they think that the police don't know who they are in terms of their involvement in the murder, they will go and fly to another country and come back six weeks later and get bagged at the airport. Isn't it? But certain men that know the police are after them, and they know they can't return to the country. They will fly out to somewhere like Nigeria. And that's it. They have to cut off all ties with London and England. Because they want it for murder, innit? And I just put myself in that position. Like, imagine. Like, imagine your age right now. Innit? Yeah, you might be 20. You might be 35, 40. Imagine knowing that once you get catch. You're doing a 25. That is mad. So right now, I'm 29. It's December the 9th or 10th. I'm 29. Imagine, God forbid, man done something mad. And I know, once I get catch, I ain't going to be out until I'm like 54 or something like that. That is nuts. That is nuts. I could not imagine having to spend almost, like the majority of my life behind fucking bars. So anyway, this Black Calendar website, it's a website, it's fucking mad. Any of you lot are into crime and all them kind of things there, you might want to go and look at this website in it, yeah. So basically, in this website, I'm going to leave a few links um, in the description or whatever in it, yeah. You can go on this website and if you go to this section that says chronology or something like that, uh, you can pick specific years. So let's say, for example... The year and the month you can pick uh january of i don't know 2018 and it will show you a list of all the people that have been convicted for murder in this country and basically the reason why they call it the black calendar they're not nothing to do with black people or nothing like that the reason why they call it the black calendar is because you can see the person's picture now it could be a woman like i just saw for example she got done for dangerous driving, manslaughter. She only got three years. So we'll have the picture of the woman. You can click on the profile, find out what that person is, um, what has been convicted for, the backstory. It will give you the age of the person when they were convicted and the age of the person when they're released. And it will give you a countdown. Literally, this person has to serve two more years and 14 months Oh, sorry, two more years and six months and three days. Literally like that. So, anyway, what caused me to go on that website was because um, there was one older guy from the other side or whatever. Like, Papa, Papa Badman. And, um, yeah, man heard that like he was involved in some shit or whatever, innit? So, anyway, I was watching one of them YouTube videos where, you know, they're talking about uh, this mafia versus this mafia or whatever. So, this guy used to move with people that are not from his ethnic group, if you get what I'm saying. This guy is black, Congolese slash Angolan, but he used to be moving with some other ethnic group or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, he was slightly like a hitman. And, yeah, he must have got done for some murder charge or whatever. Innit? And, like, 
he's looking at like 25 years so that's what took me to that that website but my man was a proper bad man like so bad that like the man them that man used to roll with and couple allies must have went to their estate in tottenham 40 man deep this is how this how this is how much this guy was a fucking rude boy so the man them from my ends and the man that man used to move with luckily i went with them that day the man from the ends and other man from a different area who are our allies, man that we link up with to ride out, have gone to this estate in Tottenham and they riding out on this estate. Next thing you know, they see two men running along a bridge. Man are pulling out. Bat, 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 bat. The man them come back to the ends. Seven of the man them got shot. Man are coming back with gunshot wounds. It's a true fucking story. This is like... 2010 so this these times man's like 17 or whatever isn't it? the man they were coming back with gunshot wounds licked down seven men no murders no fatalities but the man shot seven men him and his brethren shot seven men so anyway my man now uh he's in uh yeah he's in jail of like uh, uh kidnap extortion murder all them kind of mad charges or whatever isn't it? and i just see his face and i'm like rah my man's not coming out until he's like 47, 50. Because this happened a few years ago, isn't it? Yeah, but my man's not coming out until he's like 47, 50. Now. I mean, he's just all like, imagine imagine your age right now. Imagine you not coming out of jail until you're in your 50s or late 40s or something like that. You're spending half your life in jail. Fuck that, man. If I was ever looking at a sentence that's some lengthy sentence and that, I was supposed to say, what's the fucking point of living? Imagine that. You've got 20 years left of your sentence. Told you not already. Bear time. Man's neighbour at um, ISIS. He was that man's friend on the wing. I don't really think he was like that. I don't really think he was a real bad boy like that. But he was in jail for murder. One Somali in you. And yeah. The story was obviously. And again. Like man always say. Talk about this joint enterprise nonsense. If you're rolling with certain man. And they do something. Boy, you're gonna get the same, you're gonna get done up with the same sentence as them. So, anyway, these times, because me and him's the same age, and he were 18 when ISIS he'd been in jail for about a year or something like that. And yeah, he got slapped with about 19 or 20 years. He said, Yeah, man, I ain't gonna come out until it's like 2030 something. He said, I ain't been given a release date. And if you ask me, he was not a bad boy, I didn't get that. Yeah, that, that vibe and that aura, isn't it? Don't get it twisted. Certain men don't have that vibe. Or certain men are like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. They could just come across like they're weak and they're meek and they're timid. But once they snap, they're a different person. Yeah, so there is always that possibility in that. But me personally, I don't think that he was about that life, innit? I just think he was with the man them and they chased someone down. A man got stabbed and he unfortunately died. It weren't like a... A premeditated real murder where man are really going out their way to kill people and that, innit? And yeah, my man got slapped with 19 years or whatever, innit? How can you get hit with a sentence more than your fucking age, blood? Because he's been in there since he was 17. He said he got like 19, 20 years. He don't even know when he's coming out. He just knows what year roughly. Man ain't even been given a release date. Imagine that. That was in 011 when I met him. 011 late july end of july that's fucking 10 years ago my man is still in jail now you know how much the, um, i don't even want to brag the amount the, the amount i've accomplished and that but what i'm saying is what i've done he could have been doing with his life as well but right now he he's sitting behind bars blood because i'm telling you about this joint enterprise thing in it just being with man you're getting caught up Oh man's foolishness. Man jump out of car, duck a man down, stab him. And this is one thing you need to realise as well. A lot of these youths that stab people, they're not stabbing people to kill people. Go watch them videos. Watch them videos where people go out of their way and they're stabbing people. Like, look at the way they're poking, man. They're just poking. They're not really trying to stab people to kill people. Some people are. Some people are. I heard some mad stories. Man get stabbed and the knife breaks off in them. Yeah. A man was really after you. But... There's other stories I see, like I watch these videos, I see man poking man and that. Come on, man. You just the way man's moving and that. You know these men are not really intent on killing these people, innit? Man just wanna stab man for stripes. 
Literally, man just want to stab man for stripes. Again, back to the lengthy sentences and that. There were some youths. They went down to Tottenham and they caught one youth. And but the youth used to actually, the way they caught the youth was near where one of my family members used to live as well. They jumped out of the car and anyway, they chased one youth down and they stabbed him a few times in it. I don't know, let's say they stabbed him six times. Obviously, the police them have caught up with the youths, bagged them, they've gone to jail for a stabbing, you know. They call it attempted murder. Yeah, my books is not attempted murder, right? but anyway, they call it attempted murder. These youths are like 23 years old, 22, 20. The youths are doing 27 fucking years. Blood, in my books, that's fucking too long, innit? And I know some of you love them, like, rah, rah. Man, I start adjusting there, see, like, rah, Jay Wise is really, yeah, changed his mindset and say, can't remember, man used to say it before, man still stick by this, yeah, like, they need to give out harsh sentences as well, yeah. But, blood, there's a difference between giving out a harsh sentence and sentencing a youth for some stupid little stabbing where someone didn't die in it. Now, all right, let me, let, let me retract that in it. Ain't a stupid stabbing. What I'm saying is, Nobody died. Yeah. Man them should not be going out and stabbing people. Yeah. Man saying that in it. But at the end of the day, the guy did not fucking die. But yet still the youths have got 27 years. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. That is too fucking long. Slap them with a 10. Give them 10 years or something like that. Not 27 years. No way. No way. You think you're so blood. A man's on YouTube right now, isn't it? Man's on YouTube right now, it's so man know why I'm promoting nothing in it. Yeah, don't get it twisted, blood. Yeah, let me tread carefully on this video right now. But what I'm saying is, blood, if I was in a position where I got 27 years, I'd be thinking to myself, I may as well complete the mission. If you get what I'm trying to say, yeah, if you understand what man's trying to say, but if I'm getting or someone's getting 27 years. For half the crap for half a crime, if you get what I'm trying to say, blood, a man should have just completed the mission, bro. At least then it would have been fucking worth it. At least then it would have been fucking worth it. Like, alright, what they done was wrong. Man get it. Man get it. What what they done was wrong out of order, it? and it could have led to that. But at the end of the day, it weren't that. It weren't that. So you know, I was even having a conversation with my girl, and she's like, bro, are you talking like that? Like, bro, I'm surprised that you're in it because you say harsh sentences and that. Yeah, but there, there, there's a line that you draw in it. There's a line that you draw. Yeah, harsh sentences for people that go out and stab people and that in it, yeah. But these youths, they did not need to get 27 years for stabbing someone. No way. No way. That's too long. 10 years, yeah, whatever in it. But not 27 years. That's longer. How can you give someone 27 years for a man's, uh, for, for attempted murder when there's man that kill people and get 18, 19 years with a gun as well, with a weapon that you shouldn't even have? You know, someone could argue and say that people are in possession of knives because you can just go to the shop and buy that or get it from your kitchen drawer. But a gun, you actively went out of your way to pick up that gun. So me, I think that that's way too long. Way too long of a sentence, isn't it? but um, yeah. If you're into like watching crime and you find all the cases interesting in that, there's hundreds of people, thousands of people on this website. And yeah, I'll leave the link below in here because I know a lot of people are into crime and reading backstories and they find uh, them kind of stories they're interested in that. Literally, you'll see a picture, a bunch of pictures of people's faces, mugshots. You might even all know some of the people with them in it. Yeah, or at least seen their face on the news on the newspaper and it just click their profile and then you can find out all the information the backstory it will tell you their age at the time of conviction it will tell you their age next to it when they're going to be released and it will literally give you a countdown this man has 15 years six months and two days left till he's released isn't it? fucking mad fucking mad but yeah yeah man just want you to just Talk about that. And so that's that's the Black Calendar website. Isn't it? Yeah, leave a link in the description box below. Go check it out if you're interested in the kind of thing. Then stay wise. Turn on.